Hello everyone. So yesterday we have discussed about the similarity index. Today we are going to discuss about the dissimilarity index. So definition. This statistics is used to quantify the compositional dissimilarity between the two different sites based on the counts at each site. So the question is why there is a need for dissimilarity index? Dissimilarity. in a community composition is one of the most fundamental and the conspicuous feature by which different forest ecosystem or we can say any ecosystem may be distinguished so assessing the dissimilarity between the communities is essential for evaluating the species invasion changes caused by the selective tree harvesting or the effects of the climate change on the species composition that is whether a particular species has increased or decreased effective measures of the community dissimilarity may contribute to more meaningful classification of the forest vegetation that is whether to categorize a forest under protected area or not the background traditional estimates of the community dissimilarity are based on the differences in the species incidence or abundance that is we have studied earlier in the similarity index again the example is jacquard sorensen and the brick artist indices however community dissimilarity is not only affected by the differences in the species in this incidence or abundance but also by the biological heterogeneities among the species that is uh, in the matter of genes or the traits that they have uh, in the category they differ biological dissimilarity among the species can be uh, calculated using the species taxonomic information and also by using the genetic information dissimilarity between species so the biological dissimilarity it is also known as distance between the species refers to the difference between the species in terms of genetic or the morphological characters that is their outer characters biological dissimilarity can also be assessed based on the traits the phylogeny or the taxonomy so this is the table individuals differ by the different taxonomic hierarchy and their normalized distance that is between uh, species 0. to between genus 0.4 between family 0.6 between order 0.8 and between a group that is 1.0 so these are the dissimilarity values dissimilarity means not the same then the types of dissimilarity index so on the basis of the presence absence group jacquard and the sorensen index and on the basis of species abundance group the brecartis and the plain avalanche Uh, type then the maximum and the minimum values are one one that means no shared species and zero that depicts the same species composition so zero denotes no dissimilarity break out is dissimilarity so this is the formula b c i j is equal to 1 minus 2 c i j upon me s i plus s j c i j denotes the sum of the lesser value for only those species in common between both sites si and sj denotes the total number of specimens counted at the both site so we can take an example that is considered to aquarium in tank 1 there are 6 goldfish 7 guppies and 4 rainbow fishes and in tank 2 10 goldfish and 6 rainbow fish so to calculate the break out is let's first calculate the cig that is the sum uh, of only the lesser count for each species found in both sides so goldfish are found on both the sides so the lesser count is 6 guppies are only on the one side so they can't be added in here rainbow fish though are in both and lesser count is 4 so cij is equal to 6 plus 4 that is 10 then si is this 17 sj 10 plus 6 16 bcig is 1 minus a we put this formula and the values here and obtain the result that is 0.39 the break out is dissimilarity again in case of jacquard's dissimilarity the formula is 1 minus sj suppose sj that is the similarity is 0.90 then we put here and the value is 0.1 again in the case similar like that in sorensen dissimilarity 1 minus ss 0.95 is the value of similarity then we have obtained this and in case of this if suppose 0.64 then 1 minus 64 0.64 0. 
and 36. So this is all about the uh, dissimilarity in